new moms make the trading spouses switch. Nice butt. Thanks. One mom's all about appearances. This home is who we are and what we're about. I love being in the dirt. The other mom's down with Mother Earth. It's an honor to work with the land. Where are you from? And her oddball behavior. I want to share information on, on a gradual basis. Is going to leave her new hubby speechless. We have a lot of sexual energy. This woman is really, really strange. This mom's new life of living off the land. Kind of wiggle it around a little. Maybe more than she bargained for. I can't tell. And wait till she gets a taste of the roadkill roast. That's good eating stuff. Oh, God. It's an all-new Trading Spouses. I miss my family a lot. And it starts right now. I want to go home. <laughs> Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? smells. That drives me crazy. <laughs> he smells good. No, no. That's it. Straight out. That's it. Ray takes care of me. He's the male figure. I'm the female. I'm considered the weaker of the two. My eye itches. That's good. I love shopping with my husband. That's kind of cute. No. Ray prefers to shop for me. What do you think about it like that? I don't think those work. Okay. Ray will tell me if something looks good. Nice butt. Thanks. If something doesn't look good. No. Sorry. Hey, guys. We need to put an extreme PETA in every one of those locations. Ray is the president of our company. I am the area developer for extreme PETA for all of Northern California. What do they want for the lease? In our business, I am the secretary and the receptionist. It's a great feeling knowing you get to go to work with your boss, come home with your boss, and go to sleep with your boss. <laughs> as hard as I have to push to make the best life I can for my wife and my kids. Devin, stay! Stay, Devin! Oh, Ray's very competitive. <laughs> that was dangerous. Oh, get it out! Get it, just get it out! Shoot! My dad always wants us to give 110% at everything we do. Good study. You get A's? When my dad does drive me, it does kind of piss me off. But if it wasn't for him, I'd be lazy. 
Excellent. That was great. Beautiful. <laughs> also, both of my boys play the piano. one of the greatest blessings in my life. I just can't tell you how much I love him. My goal is to take this whole area uh -huh. and do it all in echinacea. What I love most about Penny is her true understanding of me, my heart and my soul. George and I met in Las Vegas. Everybody's supposed to have a midlife crisis, and I decided I'd have one. I needed to redefine who I was, so I decided to live rurally and to work in the dirt. We really enjoy every aspect of one another, and it's just almost as if we just kind of meld into each other. My husband and I own a company called Goods from the Woods. With Goods from the Woods, we're trying to demonstrate ways people can earn a living from the native plants on their land. Open the seed pods and, and put them in there. No, there's no seed in here. Okay. Son. He's got a really quick, funny, fast mind. I skateboard, play basketball, play soccer, and play hacky sack. I do encourage him to think for himself, to be expressive, to challenge authority. Dry your hair. I found two socks. I have been limiting Zeb's possessions in order for him to develop appreciation and responsibility. He gets five shirts and three pair of pants a year. Those are my jeans. Oh, oh you almost had it. Clyde is the most wonderful farm turkey. He's a pet, also a breeder. Clyde is a very special turkey. He's just a beautiful turkey. And he is a member of our family. My home is a reflection of me. I'm not one for external things. Other people might consider the way I live not terribly attractive or not terribly successful. I consider myself tremendously successful. Oh. I'm gonna miss 
she so bad? I know that that I don't uh, I think that that may start to wear on me because when I have a problem I talk to you go inside go inside sure all right I'll just pull you out Dude, there's a taxi here. Already? Does that look okay, Z? No. I had wanted to use my feminine wiles to do things that another man might be more attracted to. And so I tried to be as alluring as I possibly could. Okay. I think my dad will miss my mom the most because my dad and my mom are like a team. There's that. Mm. <laughs> I love you. Oh, have fun. Okay. And there she goes. Being away from Ray is something I've never done. And I started becoming very nervous. Okay, about 20 minutes. such a sweetheart and although Tracy's more than capable I worry about her I get on this side or that side I love you well this ought to be fun I'll be back have fun stuff we'll put it away if you wouldn't mind I would like to be able to share something with you sure um, my husband sent me with these slippers uh -huh. because I'm really scared of bears they're scared of what I'm scared of bears bears uh-huh I'm starting a new life this week I am starting it with bare feet okay would you mind taking off your socks and shoes taking off my socks and shoes yes sir for driving home, you mean? No, just for right now. I really prefer not to. I have a great deal of respect for my partner. Thank you. And that's really important <laughs> to me. And so I'm cool with that. Thank you. Well, let, me, right. let me grab your stuff. And I'm Penny. Penny, I'm Ray. Ray, Ray. it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. You're waiting for someone? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so this may be her. Are you the new dad? <laughs> you must be my new wife. I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name's George. <laughs> George Tracy. Where are you from? Scottsdale, Arizona. From Scottsdale. All right. Yeah. All right. We, uh... Here in Scottsdale? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, we deal in pinion pine nuts. 
And what? Pine nuts. Pine nuts? Really? There's uh, pine nuts that come from that area. Right? Cool. My absolute first impression of George was he looks like Charles Manson. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I want to share information on, on a gradual basis. Okay. <laughs> well, let me give you a little background. We're certified for 78 species of wild medicinal and botanical. Uh, we have eastern cedar here, eastern red cedar, pin oak, black oak, red oak, white oak. Really? Uh, it was a very long car ride. I have weaknesses of the flesh. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that means we all fall down. Nobody's perfect. Well, you are here. When we drove up to the house, I thought, oh my gosh, is this a nightmare? Turn you home. Thank you. How are you? I'm Tracy. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Do you do tricks? Yeah. Oh, cool. I like to see your tricks. Tracy, my first impression of her was she was kind of like a little bit of a city girl, you know, like into makeup and stuff. Well, come on and see the place, Tracy. Here's your rooster. Yeah, there's my boy, Clyde. This is the foyer, the entrance, and, uh... <laughs> I just, you know, it's just a state of euphoria with the beauty and grace of your home. It is just... magnificent. Well, come on and we'll show you around. Welcome to the So this is the cool. place. Thank you. It's pretty humble. Oh. Boys? <laughs> I'm the luck of the draw. <laughs> this is Ryland. <laughs> this is your new mom, Penny. Hey. Hi. Hey. This hey. is Devin. Hey. It's <laughs> nice to meet you both, guys. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Penny is kind of strange to me. I thought to myself, I'm like, ah, can I live with this for a week? Let's show her around. You guys want to come along? Is this where I will be staying? This will be your room. It's in. It's just not what I'm used to. That's my hundred-year-old griddle. This is It's very nice. Would you be okay with bare feet now? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> would you guys be okay with bare feet? Could you maybe oh, for take, us to take bare feet? You, yeah, for, for you guys. Oh, just... I, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, a ceremonial coming together. We all come into this world without any shoes, and that's a new start, a new beginning. And what I wanted to do is to have kind of an ice-breaking ritual. If we could, could all, you know, put our feet together, um, right foot in... And toe to toe. Oh, toe to toe. Toe to toe. Toe to toe. Okay. This record team. Okay. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Joyce and I will go and get your uh, your luggage. Okay. You don't have to come out. Come on, guys. Oh my God. I, I, is that comfortable enough for you? I'm totally fine. Thank you. I'm not a stuffy person, but it's different than what I'm used to. When I checked the bag, there was a lot of leaves, um, debris from outside, nuts, shells. different than at home and when things are different that much different it scares me coffee on if you'd like some. Oh, thank you. But I will try. The first morning I woke up really early as I usually do and I really wanted to learn how they do things so I can be effective it is somewhat intimidating to be in a new environment especially one that's opulent where everything is perfectly ordered our household is very busy so I hope the painting doesn't have a hard time keeping up Ready, Freddy? Let's go. You ready, Devin? We're gonna leave in just about two minutes. Seven o'clock. You gotta go. Hi. Have a good day at school. Focus. Pay attention. Um, here's what we gotta do. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym. Why don't you go with me? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, we usually uh, do business in between everything. And then Rylan has a game. So that should take us to the day. And then after that, we'll get them started on their homework. I noticed that Ray's got a pretty tight fist of what's going on here. Beautiful. It's all coming together. So what's on your list for today? I want to uh, bring in the material that we got from, from the hippies and uh, turning them into giant nut bags. Oh, wow. I'm planning on having Tracy help me by assembling uh, a thousand pound peanut sacks. Those the bags? That's the bag. That's a bag? That's one bag. Wow. So how many bags do you have to do? Uh, 50 sacks. percentage and then i mean does he have to do the parking analysis all right bye yeah elbow straight no no keep your elbow straight down not too far george and i flirt oh yeah there's a lot of sexual energy that takes place between my husband and myself throughout the day and some of our neighbors know not to come over Friday. <laughs> Lost for words on that one. I think you might be 
surprised at, at how much I've got going on, you know. Last year, Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company uh, has an annual event in the spring and in the fall, and we go to the one in the spring. I've been kind of infatuated with the geodesic dome for years. You know, it's a structure to be respected. I had just finished off this hook, and I said, well, here, man, you know, why don't you go ahead and take this with you? George, just me so much and my mind starts drifting there's a flooring manufacturing plant over by Salem what time is it 3 30 but now we won't be done till 6 30 7 o'clock maybe later it's only 3 30 a hockey game that Penny will be able to watch and she's got a surprise coming when she sees the big boy play. How's your team doing? Doing great. We win almost every one of our games. Mm -hmm. I don't like competitive sports but I think it's a really good thing to encourage children so I'm going to go into the locker room and chat with the guys. Where is the locker room? Right here. Let's go. Fishing. There's this blonde going ice fishing, and she's out there, sits on the ice, she starts cutting hole in the ice. She hears, there are no fish under the ice. A little disturbed, she looks up and goes, Lord, is that you? And the voice goes, no, this is the owner of the hockey rink. <laughs> it's not only a blonde joke, it's a hockey joke. <laughs> Very, very proud of Ryland. Nice job. That was a good game. They were flying. But I am concerned that his drive for success blinds him from what's really important. today and, and Jackie is the, is the boys instructor. So I bet that's your piano teacher. Yeah, well, my brother's gonna go first though. Rylan? I usually try to sit down and listen to the boys practice because there's no better music to listen to than a very talented child playing, especially when that child, you know, happens to be yours. He composed a brand new song. You composed another new song? In, in one sitting. Wow. It's it, really different. I wanted just to kind of be a fly on the wall with the piano lessons. I wanted to observe in a way that I was unobserved.
It's awesome. Oh, it's very nice. Different. Very different from anything else you've done. All right. Well, I like your compositions. Thanks. Where's Devin? So how did it go, little man? I liked it. Did it? Good. And we uh, worked on that tango or whatever? What's the first note? Tell me the name of the note. Tell me the name of it. What is it? G. No. A. C sharp. All right, let's start from the beginning. I'm just confused. Okay, again, start from the beginning once more. Okay, now remember, now, every time you come to an F, you got to make it sharp. And what's the other one you have to make sharp? I don't really know. This is really confusing. Have we practiced it one time this week? Once even? Mm, no. I noticed that there is a lot of Ray wanting everything to be perfect. C sharp. Oh, watch the left hand. Left hand, watch the left hand. And because Ryland has so many developed skills and talents, it's easy for Ray to focus on the garden that is already planted and full of fresh, beautiful fruit. And there might be another garden on the side that needs a little more tilling and cultivation, but Bray really hasn't looked at his second son and all the potential that can be cultivated there. This evidently needs quite a bit of work, right? Yeah. respect for Clyde. We're all gonna miss him quite a bit. So Zeb and I feel it's only right that uh, we share Clyde with Tracy. Today's menu's gonna be... Uh, Clyde. For supper. And it's good meat, so, it, you know, we couldn't just waste Clyde. Clyde makes really good sandwiches. We plan to cook Clyde for my new mom. Do you like roasted turkey? Sounds good. It is. It's good. Being here with the Frazier family has been tough for me. But today, Zeb and George were making dinner, so I'm looking forward to that. We're pretty excited to give Tracy this special treat. That's going to be good. for dinner because I could really use some comfort food. Now the leg meat might be pretty tough, Sebby. Yeah. It was like, wow, my turkey sandwich was very good. Very good, thank you. I know for sure Tracy really enjoyed her Clyde sandwich. You know, it was really cool. I'm glad you enjoyed Clyde. What? Oh, uh, uh, and you had no idea that we lost Clyde. Clyde died? Right. We just had Clyde for dinner. Oh, I was like 
No. It was a hit and run. I saw Clyde. It was only a few minutes after the car hit him. He was still warm. Yeah. Oh, he was still alive? No, he no, was still, he, he was still he's warm, warm from his body. He got hit, like, kind of in the rear end. But the impact, I, I guess, was enough to kill him. And then, like, I inspected the carcass real well. I mean, it was just moments after it happened, uh, but I don't mind eating him. In the city, we don't eat our pets once our pet dies. I mean, he's corn, that's corn fred farm turkey. Never in a million years would I eat roadkill. In our society, we don't do that. That's, you know, that's good eating stuff. I mean, you had a little taste of them. This is the worst nightmare I've ever, ever had. You getting hungry again at all? I feel nauseated. Where's Devin? Devin's in the house. I need Devin. Today, Devin has a very important game and he needs to get focused. I get pressure in hockey if my dad's like watching it. You guys ready? In my mind, I'm like, okay, please win, please win, please win. Okay, so let's talk about hockey. You're gonna work hard, you're gonna skate hard, you're gonna move. Huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Devin, tell yeah. me about your team. My team is a really bad team. Mm, see, here we go, Devin, with the negativity. No, but it's not, true. No, it's not entirely true. But have we ever won one game? Oh, Devin, you're killing me. Where are you going? <laughs> Devin, start focusing now. Okay? Start paying attention. We're going to skate really hard today. I don't want to. Devin, Devin, go to the net. If there's a rebound, go to the net. Come on, Devin, get, get to it. Go, come on, come on. Get out there. Skate, Devin. Devin, to the net. Devin, Devin, skate. Ah. Devin, you're going in too far. When your player's got the puck, get to the side, separate, and go with them to the net, okay? Tonight at the hockey game, I noticed there's tremendous stress to perform and some bullying in, in a with Ray in terms of Devin. Skate out! Skate out! Come on! Skate! Skate! I think Ray makes too controlled of an environment for Devin to really flower into all that he can be. Dad needs to know. Nobody has to be perfect. It has to stop. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna make that happen, but I'm sure gonna give it a shot. So far, I just, I find myself having a very difficult time here. I absolutely, I, I don't think I could be a country girl. From what I've seen so far, I don't think Tracy is real prepared to do a lot of outside work, but uh, it is imperative for us if we're going to continue making enough money to live on. So you're sitting in this week for Penny. And, and uh, I'd really like to get some of the work in the garden finished. Go out and collect wild herbs and, and roots. You know, you can see we're pretty earthy people, you, you know. When George said that he needed help working with the plants, I thought that does, does not sound appealing. Go ahead and put some shoes on and grab a jacket. Because we've got to do some work here. 
to get out there on the rototiller. It's something that needs to be done, um, and this is the time of year to do it. I like to get it a good six or eight inches down. Um, take it. Kind of wiggle it around a little. Tracy didn't really dive in there the way I would have liked to have seen. I don't think Tracy understands why we need to do this. CMT. Now that's a sure thing. I'm always prepared to get down and dirty. Well, yeah. good. Because Gun Country 2 is bringing home the bacon. <laughs> Great. What does my career come to? Then on Outsiders In. <laughs> who doesn't love a good bear hunt? Bobby don't want to see no bear claw. And something's fishy. On Country Fried Home Video. CMT Sure Thing Fridays. All new episodes. Friday at 8, 7 Central. Only on CMT. Two new moms made the trading spouses switch. Would you mind taking off your socks and shoes? One mom took her off the wall ways. This woman is really strange. To a household headed by a demanding dad. Have we practiced it once even? Who wanted everything pitch perfect. His controlling behavior has to stop. The other mom left the lap of luxury. I love my life. For a life like she never imagined. It scares me. And it was just too much for her to take. I don't want to go home. Now, a heart to heart. I really don't know where this is coming from. Becomes a war of wills. Respect me as your partner. We're done. Then the moms finally meet. Ray scares me. And one's headed for a major meltdown. We're going to have to do some life changes. Plus, the money leaves one family baffled. Oh, my God. And the other bewildered. I don't know where the letter is. It's the final surprise no one saw coming. My mom lost the letter. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side?
I've spent with the Frazier family has been tougher on me than, than I thought it would be. Kind of wiggle it around a little. Wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Every single minute has been very difficult. Just a totally different world for me. It's like taking a fish out of water, you know? No matter where you take it, it's not where it belongs. What in the crap? Is this what you do on your free time? Yeah, I really like skateboarding. I skateboard any chance I get. Except whenever I skate, I'm skating and limping at the same time. Why? I need shoes. My dad's old boots are too small. Okay. So. my child and he needed a new pair of shoes and it was difficult for me to provide those shoes for him it would kill me why do i always do that i think i'm here for a reason Is there anything I could do to help? I have been watching this family for a few days. And I notice that in the house, there's a, a, a lot of pressure, and I see it from the way Ray interacts with Devin. Have we practiced it one time this week? Come on, Devin, get, get to it, go! Come on, skate, skate! It pains my heart to see what's going on here. So it's my responsibility to look at things that I can bring this family. I believe that Ray really wants perfection. And it, it, that's unrealistic. Because we all have imperfections. So I want Ray to have the responsibility of looking at his own faults. Family! I want to talk about a few things. I've kept, uh, I've kept my notes up. Ray. You are a passionate, brilliant, dedicated father. Thank you. For this reason, I am giving you a tremendous responsibility. You've been charged with self-examination and identifying your own shortcomings. Okay? Ray, it's your job to come to me by 6.30 tomorrow morning with a list of your faults. Five major faults with your personality and your lifestyle. Five? At least five. I can guarantee you that the more honest you are with yourself, the easier this process will be for you.
This is going to be a process? Yes, Ray, this is going to be a process. I hope that self-examination is the first step in helping Ray to be gentle on the boys. And that is from the deepest level of my heart. Tomorrow, we will meet and talk again. Good night, family. I have no clue why Penny would pick this assignment. <laughs> I, I couldn't even guess. I think what makes it really strange is that it came out of nowhere. And to be honest with you, I don't have five faults. I hate homework. did a lot of thinking and I realized that I was here for a reason so I'm gonna jump right into being an active member of this family and man I can't send email out of this account damn it I noticed George was having a very difficult time with the pine nut orders sometimes I, I just want to rip the processor out of this thing I don't even get processed and I'm not sure if George knows either <laughs> I gotta find out what went on with this order here uh, could be a mistake um, Mr. Tibbet doesn't sound very happy at all I know being in business for yourself is a challenge if I get dingy it's because I, I more work with my hands than with my head so I want to make sure that George has a good understanding of the administration part of his business. How's your filing system? <laughs> really bad. Yeah, sometimes things get lost. We don't have the checks and balances in place to make sure that we're not missing orders. It, it, it's that kind of business system that we're really lacking. Is it a lot of stress for you? Yeah. And then maybe I can apply what I do in my business and see if we can get it running smoother. That would be great. Let's get going. Okay. Here's your heart and soul of everything. It's very important that this is organized. Once everything's organized, Everything just falls into place, and it's easier to do things. There's less mistakes, less stress. If you keep it open, <laughs> it lowers your score. Uh, we'll take one step at a time. Right now, we need to do your files. Oh, man. Now, too much stuff is not good. If they're taken care of and they're done, who wants to hold on to it, right? I'll be back in a sec. I think George needs to stay focused to complete things. Come on, George. Okay. Then he'll be fine. Now what do I do? Can we discard this? Yeah. George, do you know what this is for? This is plans for constructing our dome home. So you know what we'll do? We'll put all this in one file and we'll label it domes. Yeah, dome work. Thank you. I think we got a good start here. You're so right about that. Tracy's effort today, it means a lot to me. Now I know that it is imperative that we get this stuff organized. 100%. It's always what you have to get. I agree. These organizational skills will make a major impact on our business. And I wanted to show her that I was the kind of person that didn't mind giving 100%. Tracy, I have a new computer desk that I got for Penn. Maybe when I do the file, we could build it for her so it'll be a surprise for her. That would be nice. Today was different than any other day. <laughs> and it felt good for a change. Last night, 
I gave Ray the responsibility of looking at his own faults. So I'm really hoping that Ray will bring out the issues on the table, and then he and I can sit and talk about them. How did you sleep last night? I don't think I slept two hours. I, same way. I didn't sleep at all. Did you have my list? No, I couldn't. It was late. When Ray told me that he hadn't gotten his list together, that really disappointed me. I understand it's important to be flexible, so I'm going to extend the deadline from 6.30 this morning until 11 o'clock. Is that fair? We'll give it a shot. I'm accommodating you by allowing the extra time. But, you know, I'm very confident with my own being and, and my own decisions and, and everything that I do, so... But we all have areas where we're uh, in self-deception and denial, and those places aren't necessarily always comfortable to address. So when I get that list from you, I'll know how serious but you are. But you really don't need to keep going about it. I personally don't have any issues. But Ray, it doesn't have to be a battle. But I really don't know where this is coming from, and you, you don't have to worry about anything. But right now, I'm, I'm going to go get the kids ready for school, and you actually have to leave in about 20 minutes. But Ray, you don't understand. We're not going to do that. I'm sorry. Stephanie? We're, we're not going to do that. So we've got a disagreement. You're saying yes. it's going to be this way, and I'm saying... Yes. Marriage is a give and a take. Respect me as your partner, because it's really important to me. And if you're going to get something out of this, you've got to give. Oh, I absolutely will. It's just, I don't want to keep going on about the discussion. We already said we're done. We've got a conflict. How do we work through this conflict? This wouldn't happen if Tracy was here. I'm sorry, Ray. Tracy's not here. I'm in control. You made a point, and I got it. But we're done. We're going to do whatever you want. <sighs> Holy moly. for him? You betcha. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Walk around at him and see what you think. How do they feel? I like them. I'm glad I was able to take him there and um, get him some new skate shoes. Do you want to wear your new shoes? I always liked wearing my new shoes out of the store. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too, hon. Tracy, I think I'm going to remember as, like, a really nice and caring person.
Ray really disappointed me this morning. I didn't care for the way he responded to the test that I gave him. It was Ray's job to look at himself and figure out the ways that he can grow. But he's just so uncomfortable with being imperfect. So. Did you bring my list, Ray? Yes. I Great. Yeah. I really appreciate this because I was concerned that you wouldn't take it to heart. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. I, I, I take everything that you say to heart. I have to be honest with you. I had to actually call a couple of people to help me. Not to sound self-centered. But all three that I called were only able to come up with one each. I tasked Ray with coming up with a list of five of his faults. But Ray got nothing <laughs> and had to call his buddies. I thought I had five. I actually have four. So I'm going to give you okay. four right now. Okay, that's cool. All right. My broker said that I'm brutally honest. Okay. And I am. I don't lie. <laughs> that's not a fault, right? And one said that he saw me as aggressive. Uh-huh. But he said he saw it as a very positive thing. I added one of my own. Even though we spend a lot of family time with the kids, I want to spend more quality family time with them. He thinks he is such a slick willy, and I'm not falling for that. Another one said I become very protective over people who, who are just involved in our circle. And this morning I was just really, in a sense, really, if you really take this abstract, in a sense, I was protecting you. And I didn't have preconceived notions on what the new mommy's going to be like. I've been the first one to tell everyone that you've been a pleasure. But I think you need to know that. I was miffed. I thought Ray was getting it. But in actuality, all of his faults were incredibly self-serving and a pat on the back. So we're done. Awesome. Thank you. I took on the task of developing a plan to address this family's weaknesses and to bring out the best in his family. I gave him my best time and time again. But it's obvious to me that Ray's never going to change. Ray really disappointed me. I can send that broker an email and... But I feel there's just so much more that I want to accomplish. I've spent a lot of time thinking about Devin's place in this family. The boy is really stifled and really controlled and kind of gets left out a lot. I can identify with this problem because my life was very similar when I was growing up. So I decided to try and chat with him and tell him what a great kid he is. You know, did I tell you? What? When, when I was just a bit younger than you, I was the middle child, and my brother got all the attention, and my sister was my mother's favorite because um, she was older and could do everything, so that left me a lot alone. And the kids at school used to make fun of me a lot. I was, I was well, I, I always had these teeth that stuck out all my life, and they used to be, like, really mean to me, so I didn't have any friends. But I still needed somebody to love, so I had a chow dog. He was my best friend. I used to talk to him and dress him up in doll clothes. My dog was everything. When Penny was telling me a story, no one liked her, and she only had a dog as a friend that made me fear for her. And I wanted to do something special for Penny. Devin went out 
of his way and gotten the dogs from their next door neighbor. I like walking the dogs. And I was so touched by that. I don't know why my dad just doesn't like dogs. He has nothing to do with dogs. He wouldn't want a dog. Hmm. There's this one dog, me, mom, Rowland wanted it. Yeah. Except my dad. My dad's like, we're not getting a dog. No, no, no. And I really wanted it. What about you? What do you have interest in that you like a lot? I like to sit in the dirt and be covered in mud. Isn't that and like a kid thing? I don't have to be a kid to do that. <sighs> <laughs> See right there? Yeah. Those cactuses look dead, but they're all going to bloom. When it's springtime, yeah. they'll just be full of yellow and red. And wow. All these bright colors. I think that Devin's ability is tremendous if it can be unlocked and applied. He seemed pretty interested in the natural world. Yeah. And I have all the faith in the world that Devin will flower into all that he can be. I think you've got maybe a gift. Me? Yeah. You're really a very, very caring person. Thank you. about running the business. I've really heard you. I know you have. And I'm real grateful. That's so sweet. When I first got here, I was lost. Thank you for it's everything. It's been a pleasure. But once I gave all I can give to this family, I got paid back in, in love. You take care of yourself. Bye, guys. And that's the best thing you could give someone. Come back sometime! <laughs> this week was just amazing. I gave this family the best I could. But I don't know if I could have done everything that I would have liked to have done. And that's why I left the little bear slippers hoping to inspire Ray and Tracy to put energy into being better parents, being better people. You guys remember, we all were barefoot. Oh boy, gotta do the barefoot thing again. <laughs> Stinky feet, let's go. All right, foot's in. In my house, we all physically come together and we all hold each other. And that's how we say hello, and that's how we say goodbye. So if we can do that, okay, I would right. really like it. I love you guys. Awesome. Bye. 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 Hasta la vista. Bye. to meet Penny. Her family was warm and caring, so I had a sense of peace knowing that she was at my house taking care of my family, because I knew she was doing a good job. I love the Zandy family, but I came here with a job to do, so I'm going to tell Tracy the truth, that her husband is aggressive, belittling, and that is damaging to her children. I'm hoping I won't back down when I see Tracy. I'm really hoping I can follow through with speaking what I believe. I'm not done with my responsibilities yet. I still have to talk to Tracy. I'm really hoping I can follow through with speaking.
speaking what I believe. I am so like you've been with me all week. shopping. We went to the skateboard park. He was phenomenal. <laughs> George has an incredible heart, although his focus seems to kind of all over the place. <laughs> Once he gets that focus, he can get things done. And that's, you know, we, we tried to work on that. And I think he's come a long way. <laughs> That's a big deal, Tracy. That is a huge deal. I presumed that Tracy would be stifled, afraid, not have courage, and I was wrong. I did some organizing for you. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> I cannot believe she did such a good job of being intuitive and developing a plan to address our family's weaknesses. I can't wait to see what you've done. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask me? How is Rylan? I let Rylan's music lift me again and again and again and again. And how was Devin? Was he okay? No. And out of everything, that broke my heart the most. Because Ray scares me. There's a lot of pressure in the way Ray interacts with the boys, especially with Devin. great concerns about control issues and that Ray's kind of heavy-handed. Yeah, I, I, I can relate. I can relate. I needed to know how strong you were. And I wondered, does Tracy really have a voice? You're going to have to put your foot down. I want your family to succeed, but you're gonna have to pull Ray back. And it's not necessarily gonna be easy or comfortable. And I feel a lot better having met you, because I believe you can do it. I think she hit it right on the head. But I knew this. I just needed someone outside to push me. Thank you. We're going to have to do some, um, some life changes after this. Anyway. 
goes home. And it felt so wonderful to, to hear her laughter in my ear again. Look at this, look at this. It's oh, called organization. Oh, Lord. Oh. What a jewel. Oh, wow. look. Oh. oh, you got my desk. Wow. Wow. Oh, family hug. I really missed our laughter. That hug and the laughter. That was my welcome home. It's a relief knowing that Tracy's coming home. The main focus of tonight is to get our family back together and get back to our routine that we all love. So I uh, laid some petals in the bath water because I knew she loves baths and I like seeing her happy. When is mom gonna be here? You know how long it's been? Yeah, long time. There's mom. Mom's here. Better hurry. Come on, Devin. about Rand's letter. I wanted to read the letter and see what we got. Zebulon, I'm telling you, I don't know where I put it. If you don't come up with it pretty soon, his head's gonna pop. Go ahead and go through. It's not in my purse. Do I even have my wallet in my purse? My mom lost the letter. God, <laughs> what's wrong with Zebulon? I don't think it's in here. Okay, here's all my stuff. Let's just kind of sort through it. Okay. My mom lost the letter. We had to dig through all her stuff. Wait, here it is. It probably just got dropped. That wasn't funny. Can I help you open? Zabulon, you all sit and, and we'll all listen with our hearts. Because it isn't about the money. It's about the caring, and that's what we respect. I'm threatened by the materialism. I don't want to, to forget what's real. Dear Fraser family, thank you very much for welcoming me into your home. I hope you'll be happy on how your money was spent. Zeb, you are a beautiful young man. I would like to give you $10,000 toward your education and $375 towards shopping at the skateboard shop. What, how much? $375. <laughs> it's cool that Tracy, like, gave me the skateboard stuff. I was wishing I'd get a dirt bike, though. God damn it, I gotta get a summer job. Penny. $2,000 for a new computer, some programs to help you with your business, $1,700 to spend on yourself for your home or personal ice item. George, $15,000 to build our family dream home. <laughs> so we're going to build a dome. <laughs> Tracy allocated $15,000 for me to be able to build our dome home. That's a lot of money for me to handle. It was really special. George and Penny, $10,000 to pay off any debts you have and $10,000 toward cleanup and development of your beautiful land. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> she got it. Thank you so much, Fraser family. You will all have a special place in my heart. Love, Tracy. Thanks, Tracy. Why am I always the one who's not 
sound so emotional. Dearest Tracy, blessings and joy celebration in your love. I'm worried about the money. Penny lives her life, you know, like in Grizzly Adams out, you know, in the country, and she thinks that material things aren't important. So Penny spending her 50000 <laughs> that's a scary notion. I'm greatly concerned about your family. For this reason, I'm conditioning your money allocation this way. As a family, you are to spend five hours a month for the next six months together. We spend five hours... A day together. Doing native, native plant native restoration. Plant restoration or watershed maintenance. Oh, great. A total of 34 hours of environmental activities each. That sucks. If this is completed, 40,000 is to be used towards bills, 10,000 is towards a car. I was like, no, <laughs> no way. Penny was going to force us to do some environmental work before we get any of the money. I feel disappointed because I was very careful in my letter. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to do that. They got it from me. If the volunteer <laughs> work is not performed, 45000 is to be put into a trust fund for the boys with 50% to each of your sons. You and Ray may spend the balance after legal fees <laughs> for the establishment of this trust on any family activity other than hockey. Much love and good vibes, Penny. Vibes? Oh my gosh. There you go. Okay, I didn't Wait. get it. That wasn't $50,000. That was more, wasn't it? No, I no. don't know. <laughs> I totally don't have no clue, and who cares? Yeah. Did you have fun? Now? No. Please. Mm, no. Mom, can I ask you some questions? No. Rylan, stop, please. Just tell me, what's the money going to? I, I guess Seven. Matter. I don't want to talk about the money. Forget about it. Jeez. Did you take a tumble? No, I'm just lying on the ground staring <laughs> at the sky. It's been quite the journey. And it really reminded me of, of who I am and what I'm about. I missed, you know, the magic that exists in the wilderness and how we as a family can share that. There is again a sense of peace. You know, this is where I belong. This is my world. This is me. This is good. Riley, you want to play your song for mom? Sure. You have a song for me? No. Devin didn't practice this whole week. He just did it in two hours. I don't think this experience changed Tracy at all. Come here. I'm so fucked. She's still the same person. She's not going to change. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Are you ready to go to bed? Me? You. Ready? You have school in the morning. It's 10 o'clock. You know what, Dad? When I came back, I'm staying home tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Oh, oh, no. You need to oh. go to school. Thank you. Haha, uh -huh, Dad. 